everybody. Good morning. Welcome to Loven Stamp Studio. I have a project to share with you um, today that features one of the retiring stamp sets. Uh, not retiring stamp set. Sorry. Don't mean to create panic. Um, retiring designer series paper. Uh, this is fresh as a daisy. And then the not retiring stamp set, cheerful daisies and dyes that go along with it. So these are a really pretty set and I have um, used them before. I used them last year when they first came out and did um, Maker Mornings with Meg tutorials on them as well as the um, Love and Stamps monthly tutorials. And those are actually um, on Etsy, if you are interested in looking for those on the Love and Stamps card mart. But I have another project to share with you today that features a really great designer series paper uh, layout. So in case you hadn't known, there is a list of the things that are retiring and there are some really great chances to add some things to your stamping collection. And this uh, paper is one of them and the other papers in there too are great for this card layout. So it's definitely a layout that you're gonna wanna see um, and use over and over again uh, when you have big pieces of paper that you're excited to just put to work for you because the designs are so gorgeous and you wanna use both sides and so forth. So ready for a DSP card base layout? Hey Trish, good to see you. Yeah, say hi if you're here everybody. It's always fun to know um, that everybody's out there watching, so. All right, with that, I'm going to switch our camera down. So like I said, this is the Fresh as a Daisy paper. Um, these are sort of the pieces that I have left um, from my other projects. Uh, it's great colors. It featured last year's in colors. There are some panel pieces here um, that came like as a, let's see, are there more? Yeah, came kind of like this, I think. Here, this must have been the paper or something. Oh, this way. Um, anyway, so panels, card panels that you can use on your projects. Uh, but then there are also like big full sheets like this one where you have these really pretty opportunities to use big pieces of the paper um, in big swaths for cool card designs. So I'm gonna show you one of those today. And that is going to feature um, this piece of paper right here. So I have a couple different designs of this that I'm going to show to you. Um, hey Leanne, hey Sue. Uh, this one is just one of them. And let's see, I'm trying to get my camera figured out here. I feel like that's a little closer. Sometimes there's like a color weirdness here that goes on and I like to have things be pretty close. Um, let's see. Anyway, okay, we'll try that for a while. <laughs> so um, we have our uh, designer series paper here. Hi, Nikki. And what you're gonna do when you wanna make this card, you're gonna cut it to four inches wide by, let's double check to make sure, 11 inches tall, so four by 11. And then what you wanna do is um, go ahead and fold it in half. And the part of our card that's gonna be on our front is gonna be here. This is gonna be the back, which is still gonna show. Card here, so just like that. Um, and we're going to go ahead and cut ourselves a piece of um, basic white cardstock here that is going to fit um, with our layer. So this is gonna be three and three quarters by five and a quarter. And I'm gonna give you one second to look at that. I have to jump on really fast here. Okay. Um, anyway, so uh, here, and what we're gonna do here is we're going to create a fun window so that we get the peak on the inside and the um, stamping um, here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with my circle punch. You can use any large shape punch for this. I particularly like the circle. This is the two and three eighths inch one and it's linked in the video description. I'm gonna give myself some space at the bottom to attach some things and I am going to pop my um, circle punch all the way in so we have this great window. All right, kind of getting things back organized here. All right, so you can of course save your circle there. You find some fun things to use with it um, as you go. And then uh, we're gonna have our basic white layer to go inside. Now, 
For Cheerful Daisies, there are all kinds of fun choices you have here. You can go ahead and um, die cut these things. You can not die cut these things. Um, this is the um, die set here that cuts out the stamped image. And then this set also has some really cool dies that are silhouettes. Um, so it cuts out um, the silhouette and it cuts out here for making layered daisies. So there are a lot of great possibilities on this one. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stamp. And so for this image, um, I really like to stamp first with the outline and I need my copper clay pad here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna, we're actually gonna, um, we're gonna do two of these at the same time. It's gonna be pretty fast. That's how great this card is. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp here with my outline. And then we're gonna stamp on the inside here too. Hey Tina, good to see you this morning. Now, this is pretty, um, pretty heavy ink, pretty intense color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna stamp one, two, three times on my scrap paper before I stamp here on my project. And so one, two, three, you don't have to kind of slam it quite so much, um, but that gives us a very light color um, of ink that is a perfect match for the outline, just doesn't um, necessarily have the um, same intensity. So it's a great way to sort of maximize your ink colors. Um, probably you guys know about that trick. All right, so now we need some stems for these flowers. And let's see, um, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna use a Knight of Navy for this part so that we have some um, coordinating color here. And I'm gonna go ahead and ink this and stamp our stems, okay? And then we're gonna stamp some leaves too. And these leaves are really a great addition for our card. Um, you can stamp as many leaves as you want. You can stamp as few leaves as you like. Um, that one didn't quite connect there. So what I'm gonna do is grab my um, stamp and write marker, which is the water-based marker. And let's see if we can, there we go, connect that stem there. So you see how great it is to have a coordinating marker. I was about a third of an inch off there, a quarter of an inch off. And so all I did was go ahead with my marker tip and add that in. So definitely a handy tool to have nearby. All right. Now our, our flowers here need some centers. Oh, isn't the paper pretty? I'm glad you like it, Kelly. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use wild wheat because it is a good coordinate for um, this suite of colors. It's not in this particular paper, but it is in this paper, which we're gonna come to. And this paper, let me give you a sneak peek there. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do um, these here for our flower centers. Now, of course, there's a coordinating die and I already have a piece of washi tape sort of stuck on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that on like so. And then we wanna have a message for this card. And I think um, birthday cards are always needed. I always need birthday cards. So I'm actually gonna do this, wishing you the brightest birthday here in Night of Navy. Such a gorgeous, intense color. And then I have a piece of washi tape on this die. This shape die is included with the um, Cheerful Daisies dies. So it's a great shape, it's a great format, it fits the greeting. Um, it's just really nice when there's a, when you have sets of dies that have pieces that just coordinate so nicely. All right, and then the last thing we're gonna need for this is we're gonna need um, one of those extra shaped dies, excuse me, silhouette dies, is this sort of um, like frothy, like spray of um, leaves and so forth. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut this here from our um, copper clay cardstock. So let's go ahead and switch our cameras. Hello again. And I'm gonna step over here to our die cut machine and run these through. And I'm missing, there we go. I'm gonna say I'm missing a second plate. So I'm gonna run this through. Now on a die like that little frothy piece there that's so um, detailed, I like to just run it through one or two um, times. So basically um, that was three because I ran it through back and through again. And then before I pop that die off of there, um, I always like to look at the back of it and just make sure that it's really nicely cut, which it is so that we can um, pop that out. 
So I'm gonna grab this one, and I just used my little, um, the uh, die tip for popping that out. And I'm gonna do one more here um, in green, in garden green. So I'll show you that one and how easy it is to pop out that die. Sometimes when I look at new um, dies, I think, oh, that looks like that looks like that's gonna be a big pain to uh, try and get out. And so then I think, eh, maybe I'll skip that die set. <laughs> but the nice thing about um, the Stampin' Up! dies is that really uh, they cut very cleanly and you, um, if you have the, the tools, they're super easy to pop out. They're actually pretty easy just without any tool. You could use a um, paper clip or something like that, but having the brush tool helps too. So I'll do the same thing here with an extra little um, run through. And I will bring this over, switch our camera, and show it to you here so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so here is our, um, here are pieces already cut. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go ahead and, oh yeah, Nikki says she, oh, okay. Well, here's a problem right here. I ran this on the edge um, so that it didn't actually have a plate behind it, which it won't cut, but that's okay. I actually have one here through the magic of television, so don't worry about that too much. Um, here is our message piece with um, the die cut edge, and I love that detail. Uh, let's focus here. I love that detail that goes around the edge of that piece. And then here's what I was talking about with the, um, the spray. So you can see really easily that it's cut very cleanly. Um, you can see from the backside. And then um, after I popped that edge out, um, I can just take my dye brush and just run that through and it popped out those extra little hanging chads. And then at the other end, I have that little pokey tool that I can use to pull this piece out. So generally, I like to start at the bottom of a spray like this because you um, have all the pieces connected. You're not kind of trying to rip it out backwards, um, but that just comes out really nicely. Uh, I have not for a long time. There, we used to have a trick where we would use, for a dye like this, we'd put a piece of, um, oh gosh, what was the <laughs> wax paper in there um, to help the things pop out, but uh, or help the dye pop out. But since um, Stampin' Up! went to like the little dots in here, which you can poke with your pokey tool, I find that it works um, really nicely. So I don't really use that anymore. But if you had trouble, you could you could go that way. All right, so let's pop on some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of our pieces here. And then this is gonna pop here into the center of our flowers these pretty daisies. You could, of course, stamp the daisies in any color you like. And then we're going to go ahead and close up our card here. So see how that fits through the window. Now, I just kind of threw it on there um, because I knew it was going to fit in the window, but you could stamp through the window or you could just place this, kind of get an idea, and then bring your stamp in so that you know you've placed your image um, there in the window where, where it will fit best. So, all right. Now, one of the great things about putting this whole layer of cardstock here, yes, it covers up some of our pretty paper, but it also strengthens this designer series paper so that you have just a nice strong card backing um, for, you know, to make your card have a little bit more substance. So there's going to be our picture window. And then on the front of this, we have our wishing you the brightest birthday and our spray here. Now, I feel like this gets just a little bit lost. Um, here in the busy flower. So I want to give this just a little bit more oomph. And so I've got a piece here of the, um, that I cut off the bottom, because remember this, this piece was only um, an inch uh, short. It was 11 by, uh, 11 by four. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this and I'm going to give it a little banner end Ta -da! to um, pop this underneath. And now look how much easier that is to just really emphasize um, our greeting. See how that works? So here's with and here's without. So sometimes it just really helps to give something a little bit of um, more of a home base to give it a little more visual presence. Now the other thing that I'm gonna do here is attach my dimensionals to our card. It's a little risky to put them on the back of your paper because you uh, don't want to seal your card shut um, so just putting them on here means that you're in good shape. You don't have to worry about that so much. And then to attach uh, this tiny little sprig, you could use the adhesive sheets that we used the other day. Um, I showed you guys how to do those when we did our For You card. Um, but even easier 
is to just pop a couple of Stampin' Dimensionals on here to hold that down. Um, that way the ends of it are kind of nicely uh, free anyway. And then I'm gonna cover those up here with our uh, wishing you the brightest birthday, like that. Okay, now we're not done with this card because we need, thanks Lisa, I'm glad you like it. We need some embellishments. And then also um, we're gonna put this card together here really fast. So this is another piece of the daisy paper. I'm trying to see which way is up. I think this is definitely the up. And I'm gonna pop this here in. So remember, slide my punch all the way in. And then our card base uh, here is going to be our DSP and then our layer is gonna go inside it. So we'll pop this in here. And you guys saw how quickly this goes. So if you wanted to do um, a whole bunch of a card for something, this would be um, a, like a great design to just sort of do in mass. There's another piece of designer series paper from our um, package. And this is just another little scrap that I had left in the bottom. So we're gonna pop this on here with couple of dimensionals. Again, dimensionals go on the card front rather than on the paper so that you know you don't have to uh, worry about getting your card sealed shut. And then we're going to go with this garden green here because it's such a great match for our paper. Oh, Pepper. Pepper's decided that she wants to be inside right now. <laughs> so we'll get her here in a second. So there is a second card really quickly. But like I said, embellishments, we, we need some fun bling. And so from the um, retiring list are the adhesive backed solid gems. And these are on special right now. So um, before they run out, these are a great thing to grab. And I'm gonna grab my putty tip here from our take your pick tool and pop a couple of these on here. Let's see. I think um, I kind of like the idea of putting a couple here on our flower. And then maybe also one of these um, medium sized ones here on our paper. So we have kind of that design here with the three, cause you guys know I like three. And then um, a couple of those actually show once you open your card. So that kind of continues to be fun. And this one, let's see what color, I could do copper clay again. Um, let's see, what does it look like to do the yellow? Let's see. So with the gems, usually my strategy, okay, I told you guys before that I almost never like turn my um, putty, but I think I need some fresh. So I'm gonna turn this about a fifth of a turn is really all you need. It is a very small amount. And then there's this sort of slide and stick method here for our um, attachment. So you just slide that, um, slide that, rhinestone across there, that gem, and then stick it down onto your project. So there are our dies for that, or gems for that. Okay, and then one more. This one uses uh, the other paper here from the set. So lots and lots of possibilities with this designer series paper. Um, you certainly can um, mix and match all of your papers, figure out what colors you like best, and um, any of the papers in that package are a great fit for using with this set. So um, so I hope you guys are excited about the papers. I was just gonna really briefly show you in here, this is the retiring annual catalog. Um, make sure you look through here, there are lots of papers um, that are very nicely um, on special right now, delightfully eclectic, which is a double pack. Um, Earth and Elegance, Fresh as a Daisy. Um, these are the amounts that they're discounted right now. Um, botanicals, Inked Botanicals, Let's Go Fishing is gonna retire too. So even though that um, stamp and die set is continuing, um, the paper won't. If you are interested in the um, Le Shops paper, Le Shop, uh, that one is a really great one to grab right now. And then I'm gonna show you probably in the next um, week or two, I'm gonna show you some Masterfully Made, which is a really gorgeous paper. And I showed you Stargazing the other day, which is a really great chance to grab those. So make sure you take a look in the um, online shop. There's a link in the video description for those papers and uh, making the most of those big pieces that you might otherwise be like, oh, I don't wanna sacrifice a whole, you know, one third of a sheet of paper. Um, this is a really great time. I encourage you to do it. Just just do it because they're really fun, easy cards. So, And you could make them with any suite. Uh, just, you know, adjust for stamps and colors and so forth. So, 
All right, everyone, have a wonderful day. It is Thursday again, so this is my um, chance to wish you a happy pre-Friday. Um, our excitement for the weekend is the uh, our high school production of Hello, Dolly. So my son's in the pit orchestra for that, which will be a lot of fun. And um, I have to go take a wilderness first aid class. Like, it's all exciting this weekend. So anyway, um, hope you guys have exciting things on your weekend, too, and some chance to do some, um, some crafting, maybe even a DSP card-based card. So... Happy stamping, everyone. Take care.